I'm going to be making this Lalita style cake uh, headdress slash uh, fascinator. It has this on the bottom and here are some uh, frosting on the back and it's red velvet cake with mint frosting in the center. Okay. Oh, and this is a plate. Let's begin. For our uh, red velvet cake slice uh, headdress, we're going to be needing scissors, pins, any type of hair accessory, so a headband if you like headbands, clips if you like clips, elastic if you like elastic, and um, these, uh, what are they called? Okay, well, they don't have a name, whatever these are called. And you're going to need some ribbon, uh, reddish uh, maroon colored uh, felt. And then you're going to need white felt, uh, some lace, uh, some white material that's stretchy, uh, paper for your pattern making, and um, a ruler. I don't know if I said this, but you're going to need pins. Um, and yeah, you're going to need a sewing machine. And I'm going to show you how you make your pattern, so let's begin that. Move these things out of the way. <clears throat> so for a plate, you're going to take any size saucer you want. Mine was a 6 inch saucer. So you're going to trace around your saucer. And then you're going to add a half an inch to the plate. Alright? Now, this is the piece that is the side panels for your cake. And this is going to be 6 inches across and two inches down and then you're going to add a half an inch seam allowance. This piece is the back of your cake and it's going to be four inches over and two and a half inches down. Okay? And for your top of your cake and the bottom of your cake you are going to have a six inch cake by four inch backing of the cake with half an inch seam allowance. <clears throat> and then for your ruffle, you're going to have an eight inch by two or three inches. And this whole piece is the back side for your cake, and this is the top part for your cake. Okay, so let's cut out our pieces. So if you made the pattern like mine, where you did it on the edge, you're going to have to add. Uh, seam allowance to the edge. This is only if you made your pattern on the edge of your paper and on the edge of this one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut uh, down our line, but we're not cutting the pattern because we're going to want to have to use this again. So we'll just follow our scissors all the way down the line and I'll show you what that looks like in a sec. Not to mention you're going to cut two of these and then you're going to cut two of them half. So this is one side for our cake. And this is the other side for our cake. Alright, so with the ruffle part, you're only going to cut one. No, you're going to cut two of these, but you're only going to cut one um, in half because that's our top ruffle. So you're just going to take one off the line and then you're just going to cut down the line. So I'll show you what that looks like in a sec, okay? Um, like I said, and then you're going to cut out our cake. Um, which looks like this. Like I said, if you cut it on the edge, you're still going to have to add a half a seam allowance. And then your cake top and bottom looks like this. You're going to cut two of those out. And you're going to cut uh, one in your lace. And you're going to cut one in your cake backing. Bit kit. Cake backing. Sorry. Okay. Let me show you what the ruffle parts look like. Okay, so like I said for the cake baking, back the top part, you only need one panel, so we're going to discard the other one. So for the cake top, you should have one panel and then one full one. Okay, this is for the ruffles, for like the frosting and stuff. So, okay, let's continue, and I'll show you what's... Now we're going to work on our cake side panels. What you're going to do is you're going to take some ribbon, as long as this, you're going to sew it, and then you're going to put the right sides of this one to the ribbon and sew it. So I'll show you what that looks like in a sec, okay? So like I said, you're just going to take the ribbon, pin it out, measure it, cut it, sew it, and I'll show you what that looks like. 
Now you're going to have something that looks like this, and you're going to do it to the other one. And now we're going to sew these to the bottom edge of one of our cake panels. So we're going to sew these together here, and then we're going to sew them on our uh, one of our cake bottoms, okay? And then I'll show what that looks like in a second. I said you're going to sew this together, and then you're going to sew it along the bottom of your uh, cake. Now we're going to work on the uh, ruffles part and I'll show you how to do that in a sec, okay? So what you're going to do is, like I said, you're going to ruffle, pull up the bobbin threads and you're going to sew down the center and you're going to sew this uh, half an inch down from your top of your cake and then you're going to ruffle your uh, cake by having three threads in, pulling them, and then you're going to sew on top of them on top of your um, cake backing. Alright? So this is the front. Of course you're going to use the thread that matches the color of your cake. I had to use orange so you guys could see it. Alright, I'll take you to the next step. You're going to take your back frosting slash back panel and you're going to put right sides together right sides together and you're going to sew along the edge and you should have something that looks like this, alright? So now we're going to pin on our top part of your cake and I'll show you what that looks like, okay? Now you're going to pin your top cake piece all the way around and you're going to leave an inch or two inches open and you're going to pull right sides out, okay? Now you're going to sew, you're going to stuff whatever you like in here, cardboard to keep the shape, a little bit of stuffing, uh, with a little bit of stuffing, it's going to be a little top-heavy, so if you can stick cardboard in here, that'd be great. Or foam to keep it shape. And then you're going to glue it to your lace plate. And then you're going to glue on your hair accessory, whether it be the headband or the elastic headband or one of these combs. I chose the comb even though it's still a little top heavy because I chose the stuffing. But if you pick a lighter filling, then fill it with one of the headbands. Or if you feel that this is too heavy, do one or 